Hi, I'm Veronica Yu, your nutritionist and functional medicine health coach. Today's question is, when it's a rainy and cold day, I tend to eat more. Why does the weather changing impact my appetite? This is a physiology and biology question, and I love it. Did you know that our body works in homeostasis? Homeostasis is a maintaining constant internal imbalance, like your body temperature, blood sugar level, and pH level, and there's more. <clears throat> and there's a set point uh, where we feel well and the body function properly. I give you an example about homeostasis by using body temperature so that way I can explain um, and then answer your question. We have an idea of body temperature that's 97 degree. That's where we are most comfortable. But let's say if it's a cold weather and then you get out in the cold winter time and then or you take a cold shower, the how? Of course, your body uh, temperature gonna drop. The how the body maintain the idea of body temperature. Remember this one. That is extremely intelligent. They know exactly how. The first, you're gonna shivel. By shiveling, contracting muscle generates heat. And also blood vessel. Blood vessel narrowing down uh, to constrict, to keep the heat. So that's, that, that's a homeostasis and that's uh, called uh, negative feedback. So another thing is, hey, what, what, what do you have to do with eating more? I want to eat more. You're going to actually uh, ask me. Yes, because now here's another thing. When you eat food, when you are digesting food in your system, you generate the heat. So that's why you want to keep your body temperature so you're actually looking for the more food. And now... Well, you're going to tell me, Veronica, the thing is that, yes, I want to eat more, but I don't want to eat more kale. I don't want to eat more broccoli. Yeah, of course, yeah, nobody actually say like, mm, I'm so craving for broccoli. You know, nobody do that. So I tell you why. Let's say it's a rainy and cold day. You remember I told you, like uh, the sunny day, go outside and get some sun so you can actually get vitamin D. So... When it's rainy day, you don't have access to vitamin D. When you don't have uh, much vitamin D in your body, you're not going to produce a serotonin hormone. The serotonin hormone is the feeling good hormone. When you don't have the feeling good hormone, how are you going to do? You're going to search for it. You want to feel good. So there is a food that actually um, produces the serotonin hormone. Of course, it's a sugar. It's, uh, that's why you want to have more pizza, donuts, pasta, and baked good, and even sugary drinks. And that's what you want to have. Because um, once you have those sugar, instantly, but it's a short term, you're going to produce the serotonin hormone. So that's why. And I can, this is my answer, but then again, I want to give you a little bit also uh, tips that you can use it when it's uh, whether it's like this uh, cold and rainy and you want to eat more you can have more food just fact that remember this one if you want to eat more uh, just to restrict your eating window which means uh, don't eat too frequently because uh, every time you eat you're gonna actually increase the insulin hormone so that's not good so you restrict kind of doing intermittent fasting so those eating window time focus on food that actually make you feel satiated like uh, protein healthy fat and fiber rich food and you can make it really tasty just to look for a yummy healthy uh, recipe so you can do that and you can have even like a carbohydrate, you can have a carbohydrate, like a whole grain, uh, brown rice and wild rice. You can have a still cut oat. Even you can have uh, like a root vegetable. And you know those winter squash is so yummy. You can make even pumpkin pie with it. And also 
have some tea it's gonna warm you up so like have some tea like i do have tea today and gen just make naturally you know giving heat your body is more like a ginger and ginseng those teas are excellent so you can have that you have a sweet tooth add some honey Honey is like a natural sugar and it's a prebiotic, so it's actually good for your gut health. So you can do that. So you want to continue to create your health, even though it's a weather is an impact on your appetite. So that's my answer for today.